Hey everyone, Courant here welcoming you back to Final Fantasy Tactics. In the last episode, we headed into the fifth level of the deep dungeon, Lapan, and ended up having humans to fight. <laughs> we descended the mountaintop, defeated the enemies, got all the treasure, and made it out alive. In this episode, we're going to head into level 6, Tiger. But before we do that, a couple of equipment notes. First off, I equipped the Ega Knife to Ramza because the Ega Knife is a ninja weapon. It's the best ninja weapon we have so far, so definitely a good thing to have for him. And I will also mention I equipped my Excalibur on Beowulf. So now both Beowulf and Orlando are going to be auto-hasted all the live long day. And it's wonderful, even if it does take a couple of magic points off of his total. I don't particularly care too much about that. It is a much better weapon, and it is definitely suited to our knight in shining armor here. So, alright, I think that's pretty much everything as far as that goes. Now, as I mentioned, level 6 is Tiger, so let's go ahead and step in and hope we don't get eaten. Alright, so we've got a very narrow field to work with here, so we will definitely want to plan accordingly. Now, one thing I will mention about this map is just as we see with the others, all of the exits are toward the end and all of the treasure is, well, as it turns out, close to the beginning. In fact, very close to the beginning. So let me go ahead and sit my starting folks over here. Let's see. Orlando, you go up front. Worker 8, you go back here. And Ramza, you go right there. And we should be good to go. Welcome to battle number 66 and the 6th level of Deep Dungeon, Tiger. And this map, oh boy. This one looks kind of interesting actually as far as the enemies go. So let's uh, see how things turn out here. Okay, let's take a gander at our enemies. We've got... Ooh, we've got a... Oh, man, Plague's gonna be interesting. Because it's got the Death Sentence and Look of Devil. Look of Devil can put all sorts of fun status effects on you. Death Sentence, obviously Death Sentence. Then, another one, we've got the Mind Flare, which we've actually, I think, seen before. It has Tentacle, it's got Black Ink, which can add Darkness, and Mind Blast, which can either confuse or berserk you. Either way, not fun. So... Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. We've got a pretty decent group of combatants this time. All right, and you notice, and it's it's also going to take a while for them to get to us, except for your flying ones. I'll be curious to see what the flying ones actually do. I don't know what they're going to do, if anything, but we'll see. All right, you head over here, Orlando, and let's go ahead and have you wait. Okay. Actually, I don't really have to worry about speeding up my calculator any, because all four treasures in this level are on these four spots right here. Where we had our party start out, that's where they all are, so you don't really need to worry about that so much. What you do need to worry more about is finding the exit and making sure everything's ready there, so definitely worth noting there. Now what doesn't help is two of the exit points are where some of those monsters are standing, and a third one's in the middle, and the other two are on that last row or last column area as well. So. Yeah, we're going to have to be a little careful as far as that goes. Now, these archers aren't going to be able to do much of anything for pretty much most of the battle, if all of it. Neither is the wizard, really, unless the wizard has, say, time magic or something like that. I'm more worried about the monsters than I am the humans. Alright, so let me go ahead and send my combatants out here. Now, I'm going to hang Worker 8 back, mostly to protect from the possibility of, well, threats of all sorts. And I also want to see about, let's see, well, two of you are hasten, so the only one I'd try to hasten would be Ramza, really. So what I'd likely be better off doing is Wall. If I could do a level 5, yeah, actually, that'd probably be best. Let's see, level 5 Wall would be great. And that's going to get those three, and Worker 8, which doesn't matter. And it's going to Wall three of you guys, too. Shoot, it's not, the good, not a good thing to do, then. Uh... Let's see, height of five, maybe? Possibly. Let's see. I don't know if that's going to work very well either, though, because what I'm afraid of... Okay, that's not going to hit any of them good, so I'm fine with that.
And of course it missed Orlando, why not? It will hit Ramza though, definitely. It will definitely not hit Worker 8. And hopefully we'll hit you, but 59%. Oh, okay, never mind. It worked. Alright, so let's go ahead and start grabbing the treasure here. We have, first off, the blast gun! Yay! So a good gun for Orlando, Orlando, Mustadio, or any chemist that you have in play. So, yay! Alright, now what are you going to do, Mr. Plague? You are going to do pretty much exactly what I thought you were going to do, which is fly over the walls. Now, the land enemies are going to be trapped around the walls here, but of course the flying enemies will be able to go around them, or over them, or what have you. So definitely plan out your strategy accordingly. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Is that good? Am I going to be able to hit you? Oh, I am. Ha, 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 perfect. Because I want that floaty ball out now, or play. I want that sucker out ASAP. Because, otherwise, it's going to cause some major problems for us. Speaking of... Uh, let, well, I can't hit you, I don't think. Oh, no. No. Much as I'd like to try, I can't. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to you just yet. Let's see. I wonder, though. Can I do a holy explosion? Will that hit anybody? Oh, man! <laughs> I was hoping I could hit him through the walls, but oh, well. Eh, nice try, though, Eric. Will I be able to hit you, though? No, not quite. Almost, though. One thing I can do if I didn't care about going after the exit spots, one thing I could do was just sit here and blast them from behind the walls, but obviously that's bad, because I want to be able to get through this level and finish it out. Alright, let's see. Yeah, just go ahead and have you scream yourself up. That's really the best move for Ramza if he doesn't have an attack, because, of course, it makes him better all around. Alright, so what are you guys going to do now? Yeah, y'all are stuck wandering around the edges here. Orlando will be able to act very soon. Never mind, so will you. Okay, well, like I was about to say, Orlando will be able to act very soon, and thus be able to help actually weed out some of these enemies. Alright, let's see. Let me see if I can... I don't know. Let me trim down some of these enemies here. Can I break you? Mm, decent chance. Not as good. Much better. I'll probably end up wanting to... I'll probably end up wanting to... chicken or sleep one of the humans. That'll likely be the best bet all in all. Okay, now, one thing I've got to check and see, though, is I might have... Hello. I might have kind of screwed things up a little bit because... There we go. First time I've seen that work for me, actually. One thing I might have messed up a little bit is if I petrified... Oh, God. Okay, 99% death sentence. Well, that's grand. It's definitely going to work, so I'll need to put re-raise on Orlando pretty soon. All right, so one thing I want to be careful about, and I don't know if I've already screwed up that part. I have not. Okay, good. Where that archer is standing right there is one of the exit points, so... Don't petrify or put anybody to sleep on top of that, otherwise you could potentially not make it out of this dungeon. Alright, let's see. What do I want to do insofar as attacks are concerned? Let's see. That will kill you. That will kill you, but you're almost dead anyway. So I might as well take the opportunity to go ahead and take the wizard out. Or that could... Ah, I see. Yeah, you had... Yep, MP switch. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I haven't killed you, but I pretty much neutered you, so let's walk around here. And this is the first of the exit spots we'll run across. And it's not an exit. Oh, well. That'd have been nice, though. Never mind, it is the exit. Sweet! So I can just slaughter enemies now. Okay. Alright, so next treasure spot is... Let's see, let's go right here. And we pick up the Cursed Ring, which I've never actually used, so I'll have to look at it in the equipment menu and see what it does. All right, let's see. What are we looking at in so far as the enemies are concerned? We've got level two, or height two, rather. Height two, yeah, height is not going to be a concern here. Okay, so that's level five. That's level three or four. Okay, you're level five. You're level five. You're level prime. Yeah, and you're level three or four. So 
Whichever between level 3 and 4 does not hit us, I'm going to use on them. So let's see, level 3, cure, just to see how it fares. It's going to hit you, it's going to hit you. Alright, so level 3 will do just fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit you with a... Let's hit you with a bolt 3. How about that? Go ahead and shock you a little bit here. There we go. You're dead. And you blocked too. Okay. Alright. Well, hey, at least it does some good anyway. Alright. Now, Ramza, we need you to head around here now since we've already found the freaking exit. Holy crap. What are you going to do, I wonder? Are you going to shoot over the wall? You probably will. Or you'll just do nothing. Okay. You can do that too. Works for me. Alright. Now, Worker 8, I need to move you off this spot so that my wizard can get to some of the rest of this treasure. Now, are you going to be able to hit anything? I don't think you will. Not quite. Almost. Well, you'd have been able to hit the floaty ball, but you're already dead, so... Eh, not that big a deal, really. Especially since this wizard has no MP now. <laughs> okay, well... Let's see, then. In that case, we're going to work on... One, two, three, four, five... Can you petrify from that distance? That is not what I meant to hit. Can you petrify from that daggummit, almost? Well, okay. In that case, then, you... Let's see. Yeah, let's just go ahead and have you move around here. Might as well. Now, this archer, hopefully, will actually do something. Or not. Okay. What are you going to do, Mr. Floaty Ball Thing? You are going to do nothing. Wow, this is turning out to be not quite as bad as I expected. Or feared, rather. Alright, well, wizard, you get to die now, because, well, might as well. You can't really do anything else to defend. Yep, you're dead. Unless this misses. And <laughs> it did. Oh, boy. Good job, me. Okay, in that case, then, Orlando, you move around here, and I really wish you could see over the walls better. My goodness, okay. Anyway, this should, I think, take out all three of them. You're not, well, actually, not quite. Well, oh, never mind. It'll only take out the wizard. Wow. Okay. Still worth it, though. Unless it crits, and it'll take out two of them. Okay. That works, too. Now, Beowulf. What can you do here? You can hopefully drain. I think you'll be able to. Let's see. Yeah. All right, good. That'll take you out. Alright, so next up, let's see, let's go ahead and grab this treasure. And we get the phoenix down as opposed to the secret clothes. That's unfortunate. Secret clothes is actually a pretty decent set of armor, I believe, for magic types, so... Eh, it's unfortunate we didn't get it, but... Dems to breaks, I guess. Then we've just got one more turn, and we've got three more enemies alive, so... I don't think we're gonna have much problem disposing of these guys. Oh, crap, I get one more space up, which I can't. <laughs> All right, well, might as well march you over here, I guess, and see what you can do. I would have been happy if I could go over the walls and hit something, but I can't. Oh, but I can hit you. Oh, you're dead. Okay, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're petrified. So, yeah, I can't really do anything with you either. All right, so now what are you going to do, huh? You're going to... Do why are you doing nothing, Archer Boy? Ultimus Bow is actually a pretty interesting bow. It's one of the more powerful bows in the game. In fact, in fact, I think it might be the most powerful bow in the game. But you're not doing anything with it. Why? It makes no sense. I have no clue what's going on here. Okay, now you'll notice, though, what this has done is it has effectively clogged things up. So I've got to kill this Archer before I can do anything else. So it'll actually give me time to get the treasure and still have enemies to kill. Still have a couple of enemies to kill, actually. Oh, right, Orlando death sentence. Totally forgot about that. My bad. <laughs> oh, well, I won't leave him dead, though. I'll raise him in a second. And you're going to hit him like a freight train. Okay, that works. I'll just drain you back. Okay, so let's see. Something that's unique to Orlando here. 
Where are you, Orlando? There you are. Well, level 5 is not going to help. XP 3 or 4 is also not going to help, because that's going to raise others from the dead. Okay. i got to see how many turns you've got. You've got three turns left. So, what might be the better tack all in all is, let's see. Let's see. XP 4. Raise... It's gonna hit. That's gonna hit a lot of things. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I don't think XP three is gonna do any better. Let's see, it is gonna hit pretty much all the same things. Great. Okay. Well, let's see. I'll have to try to manipulate his CT. I think or use his CT. CT. Ooh, CT prime. That could help. All right. Let's see. CT prime. Raise two. Please don't raise anybody other than him. It's not a prime number because it's divided by two. Never mind. Well, we're just going to have to end this battle quickly then. And actually, the best way to do that would be to move and grab this last treasure, which is an elixir. Yay! And then see about ending this battle very quickly. All right, you're right here. So the biggest problem is going to be getting to that last one over there. Oh, man. Okay. All right, let's see. The problem with this approach, though, is I can't move. And I can't go anywhere, and Orlando really is my best bet to try to hit things. That's bad. Okay. All right, well, let's do this and see. Okay, that will hit you. Good. All right. Now, you can't really go anywhere either. Oh, man. This freaking bottleneck, this is just awful. This is potentially really bad, because I don't want to lose Orlando in a battlefield like this. Alright, now, 64%. That's not very good. And it missed. Great. Okay, well, hmm. I may just have to... I don't know, I may just have to try to nuke everybody here. And 48% actually hit. That's... Good job, guys. Good job. Well, let's see. Hopefully that will allow me to move a little bit more. I'm going to move you down here. Because you need to be attacking people. Alright, first off. Let's see. Yeah, let's try to snipe you in the back here. And then Beowulf's going to need to try to drain in his next attack. Otherwise, he's dead. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and move you over here and have you take this guy. Well, yeah, take him out. At least it should. There we go. Good. Alright, now, let's see. See if CT Prime actually will work with this now and not raise... Oh, right, it won't raise him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, XP 4... Is, well, it's going to be the same issue, though. Yeah, so I can't really keep depending on that. Okay. Alright, you need to slaughter this thing. And that's not going to work. Okay, I don't know why Drain won't drain all that much in terms of HP. I'm a little surprised at that. And I'll likely need to have Worker 8 come along and kill the Floaty Ball next. Otherwise, it's going to be trouble for him, too. All right, so that's the archer. He's busy beating a hasty retreat, which is probably the right thing to do, really. Are you going to... Oh, that's going to kill Beowulf, too. Okay. Worker A, you definitely need to go after this thing. We need to just straight out nuke some folks now. Okay. So, yeah, let's go... All right, let's go level prime... Go ahead and do fire two, just in case it hits us too. Oh, it's going to hit that archer, okay. And is it going to hit Ramza? Oh, it's going to hit the petrified guy, okay. Well, this will do it. Since we've got all the treasures and we've got the exit, we need to nuke these guys quickly, otherwise... Yeah, both Beowulf and Orlando are going to meet their end, and we don't need that to happen.
Well, it was a close one, but we ended up winning battle number 56, to me 66, and we got 51,600 gil for our efforts. So, yay! Alright, so, our 7th level of the Deep Dungeon is Bridge. And you might be able to figure out what's going to be present in that one, but, well, <laughs> it's just in case you can't. We'll see next time on Final Fantasy Tactics. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.